Hello, my name is Maria from mathmammoth.com. In this lesson, we're studying expressions. So, what is an expression in mathematics? It is something that consists of numbers, and then variables or letters, and then different operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, could be exponents, square roots, and so on. But it does not have an equal sign. Let me give you some examples that I wrote here. For example, 2x is an expression. It has 2, it's a number, it is a letter here, and then it has an operation 2 times x. There's a multiplication here, but in algebra we do not write the multiplication sign in between numbers and letters. It's another one, 5 plus y. Again, a number, an operation, and a letter. And here, s to the fourth power is an exponent, that's an operation, raising to a power, and then division, and then t to the third power. So this one has letters, it has numbers, and operations. A single number would also be an expression, for example, 5, okay, or a single letter. An expression does not have an equal sign. Now, if it did, for example, if I had 2x equals 5 plus y, then it would be an equation. Okay, an equation always has an equal sign and on both sides there is an expression. Now, I just mentioned that in an equation there's an equal sign and you've seen equations like 2x equals 4 and you know that people solve equations. But what do we do with expressions? Okay, one thing we can do is we can use them to build equations. Okay, we can take an expression equals another expression, and then we have an equation. Another thing we do is we can evaluate them. And that means that if the expression has a variable here, a letter, then we give it a value. For example, evaluate s to the third power, or s cubed, when s equals 2. This means that I take the 2 and put it in here in place of s. So I get 2 cubed. And now I can calculate the actual value of this expression. It is 8. And then I can do it for another value of the variable. Evaluate the same expression when s equals 10. I take 10 and I put it here in place of s. So now I get 10 to the third power, which is 1000. And as you can see, I could do the same process for many different values of s. s could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on, and so on, and so on. And I could check what kind of value I get here for the expression. And that is the study of functions. Now let's practice a little. Find the value of this expression here when x equals 20. Okay, this is evaluating expressions. Again, finding its value. All I do is take 20 and put it here in place of x. So I get 2, and notice here is a multiplication. It's not 220, it is 2 times 20, and divided by 5. And we get 40 divided by 5, and that equals 8. So the value is 8. It's another 2xy minus 1 half, when x has the value 20, and then y has the value 4. Okay, I'll do the same. I just copy the ex expression here. 2 times, and x is 20, and times y is 4, and then minus that half. Here we have 40, 160. So 160 minus that 1 half, we get 159 and a half. That's the value of the expression for those values of the variables.